when traveling, you want to pack your gear safely. How do you pack safe? Simply, you use Pack Safe. This is non-sponsored content of items I use all the time. This video is not sponsored by PackSafe. I wish it was. They did not send me these products. I do buy them myself and I really, really like them. I wouldn't mind if they sponsored me, but alas, they do not. I just want to talk about these because as a traveler, it's kind of your responsibility to yourself to secure your belongings. Most people are honest, but there's always a few around. Uh, don't make things convenient. Here in the Philippines, they're extremely honest. I've just some of the, the things I've seen here are just unbelievable. They're very honest, but anywhere there's a lot of tourists, there's bound to be some pickpockets and people taking advantage. Crimes of convenience, I've, I've used that term before. So it is kind of your responsibility to yourself to make it inconvenient. Make them want to go to someone else. The ones that are going to steal, you're not going to change their behavior. But you might convince them to go bother someone else. This bag I'm going to show you first. Um, it's a weird looking monstrosity. Packs up small. It is giant. But it has a lot of interesting safety features that you can see. This bag has the same features, but you cannot see them. So we're going to show you this first, and you'll know what I'm talking about. This came out in the late 90s. I've had it about 10 years. It is a wire mesh bag. Kind of, oops, dropping the lock. Yes, I do make chainmail keychains. It's part of the chainmail jewelry. I have many hobbies. Anyway, this bag is this very weird braided steel cable. It's just a net bag. Opens up surprisingly large. On it, there's a cable running through that can close it. There's little bumps that go through. When you get it as tight as you want it to go, you latch it, you put the lock right in here, they can't get that open. This opens up very large. They come in three sizes, um, 50 liters, 85 liters, and 120, no, yeah, I don't know, 50, 85, and 120, something like that. This is the 85 liter bag. It's just, I mean, it opens up huge. The 125 is bigger. This has been bigger than I ever needed. I use it when traveling. If I'm someplace that has questionable security, like a hostel or a cheap hotel, I can put my bag in this, tighten this, go around something solid like a permanently mounted piece of furniture, and then lock it. The bag's not going anywhere. There are holes. I mean, they're, you can, ow, you can fit your hand in it, but you're not coming out with much of anything. Um, they might luck into your wallet. They're not going to get a tablet. I doubt they'd even get most phones through here. Most likely, if they cut into your suitcase, not knowing what they're getting, they'll get a pair of socks. So it's not really worth their trouble. You can put it on the backpack and still wear the backpack. But this big cable, this is a little smaller cable. This whole mesh is inside this other bag. We'll look at that in just a second. This one, 
I've had for about 10 years and it's really nice. They used to say you could like leave it on your bag and go through like while you're on the flights. But after 9-11, I'm not sure if they would let you. I've never tried. I didn't buy it until, I don't know, 2008, 2009. So I bought it well after 9-11. So I actually have never tried to leave it on my bag on the flight. Back in the 90s, they said you could put it on the bag, leave it on super secure during flights. Not a bad idea. This bag I would not recommend. It's a High Sierra bag. It is my giant backpacker bag. This day bag I use. It's a very nice bag. It zips onto the front here or you strap this on and this snaps on. So you have this behind you and this in front of you. It's, it's a great concept. But it's a High Sierra bag and the zippers on it are horrible. I've had nothing but bad luck with this bag. Um, this bag has been okay. This just stores crap. I, I don't use it. It's very unfortunate. I was had big plans for backpacking with this. But I want to show you how this goes on. It goes on the bag. You can run the straps of your backpack through it so you can actually wear it with this still on it. If you're running through some place like Divisoria, you can be in, you can see they're not going to get, I mean, they can get in, but they're not, they're not going to get much. So it's very secure. If you're, say, at the airport and you need a nap, you can wrap this around the leg of a chair, something permanently mounted. You could wrap it around your own leg and lock it. And so this will be attached and not go anywhere so it's a great little mesh bag on a terrible backpack now picture this wire mesh but a smaller weave built into all of this cloth this is cool this weave is what they call exo mesh because that's the name they gave it good enough but it's actually really nice folds up really small goes back into the bag rather easily like I said I don't wrap they said used to you could wrap it and take it on an airplane I haven't tried with the new security measures I just haven't even bothered to ask them but this does get weird looks because when this goes through the x-ray machine on a carry-on it shows up and I have had them look at it and then go oh yeah that's okay but I've never had it attached to the bag just it folds up I carry it in my carry-on and when I need extra security while I'm traveling I put my bag in it I don't travel with this crappy bag I have other bags this was the first pack safe item I'd ever seen um, really liked it. I was very impressed with it. So I said I've used it for 10 years and it's held up great. Even the bag is held up. Hadn't thought about that. This thing's been really good. So anyway, here in the Philippines, many guys carry a purse. Locals and foreigners. You can call it anything you want. I don't care. I call it a purse. What's a man purse? No, it's a purse. And these are boobs. They're not moobs. They're not man boobs. It's unfortunate that I have boobs. Oh. Anyway, this I bought locally. I bought it here. Now, generally, you want to buy things from the U.S. and pay to ship it. It's still cheaper than buying it here. A lot of the stuff I've bought, I've had to buy it and get it sent in a ballot buying box. You wait six months for the box to get filled and then shipped and what have you. I saw this. I looked online at the store. Well, you're going to freak out when you hear the price. I've never paid this much for a purse. This is 
here it was $90. Online, it's $75 to $80 depending on where you buy it. But, and this is important, you have to pay tax. The $90 includes the ridiculous 12% tax. So that's tax included. If you pay the 75 or 80, whichever, depending on where you find it, you're paying tax and shipping. So for me, once I saw that, it was worth just buying here. I have some other bags I've used. I get about a year out of them. They cost about 20 bucks. I just gave up and said, you know what? This might be nice because I've been so happy with this. Now this exo mesh weave, they say is in all this material. But as I feel this material, I can't feel it at all. So I can't promise you that it's in there, except that they say it is. And they probably aren't lying. That's probably a very thin weave, but it would stop someone from coming with a knife or scissors. And maybe even like the little aviation tin snips may not cut through it. You'd probably need big bolt cutters to cut through the braided steel. The big cable on this is on each side of this. This has, You can feel the big cable here and here. So they're not cutting your strap. They can come up and hack at it. They're going to hit that braided steel. It's not cutting. So if this is across your body, they're not getting it. The zippers actually even tuck in. I don't know if you can see this, but it tucks into that it's not like secured or locked, but it's just another thing to inconvenience people. Like I said, that's the main thing you're trying to do is inconvenience them, make them want to go somewhere else. I've seen people go either way with it. I'm not sure which way is better. Generally, I just leave it like that because it's on my body. This flap is the one weird thing about it. It serves, other than being kind of a Velcro extra front or maybe aesthetics, there's no pocket or anything in it. So it serves no real purpose. And I've read some reviews online going, why did you waste putting this flap without pockets? But if you had pockets, it would get bulgy. So I'm okay with it. There's a clip here just because it's not handy to have a clip. There's another clip in here. It's a plastic clip. It's not as good, but it's tucked in. That's where I keep my keys and my jump drive. The holes on this are very large. They are big enough you can put a padlock through them padlock not included but it comes with this neat little doomahicking this latches so they if you can put all four zipper pulls it's kind of tight to get all four but you can put all four zipper pulls on that so nobody's getting in and to open this it's like you have to pull this down push this down and then come up so I don't generally walk around the city with it all clipped together because it is very inconvenient so I have it what I would generally do is I'll keep this one because this is the zipper that goes down I keep this one on the latch because I just don't use it this bottom one comes down and since when this goes down it holds it in place I'll latch that on. This zips over to it. I leave that. It's secure. It's not as secure, but this way I can get this is the pocket I get into all the time for my wallet. Have various things, handkerchief, headphones for my phone, what have you. There's numerous pockets inside. I'll get some pictures off their website to put on here like here and here and you'll see the different pocket layout 
the main pocket. I shouldn't have clipped that back. This is mostly a camera bag for me. This has an RFID safe zone, but I'm not, I don't usually keep my wallet in here because it's an inconvenient pocket. Other people have said, and I agree, the RFID should be here. RFID, whatever it is, should be in this one. Everyone kind of seems to agree, except the people who manufactured it. There's a pocket here, there's a pocket here. This has like all my camera gear, tripod, microphone, which I'm using, um, all kinds of stuff. I have the little selfie stick, because they're handy. Bag full of tissues, because when you go to restaurants, they don't have paper towels. When you go to the bathrooms, they don't have toilet paper. And wet wipes are just a wonderful thing to have for numerous things. So you carry your tissues with you. Some people carry them in their pockets. Some carry them in their bag. I started out with a very small bag. It was tissues and wallet and cell phone. Most of what I carry now is camera gear. So I have a larger bag than I would like. There's a pocket on each side. You can put an umbrella or water bottle. There's another pocket over here. Pocket back here shopping bags, and my telephone. Then this strap has an interesting latch on it. This has, it's a flip lock, so they can't just grab it. It's not locked, but it's latched. So this has to unlatch it, then open it, and you can take this off. Because this is braided, that braided steel, you can again go around like a piece of furniture and hook it on to keep the bag from wandering off. You clip it back on, flip that over. Like I said, it's not locked, but for someone to reach up and try and like grab it real quick, it's not going anywhere. So you're supposed to be making life inconvenient for the pickpockets. This bag does a wonderful job of inconveniencing them. The carry handle, I'm not sure if it has any metal in it or not, but I don't really carry it by that. As I said, I do not feel, I don't feel that exo mesh weave they say is in here. I have no reason to doubt them, I'm just saying it's so small I don't feel it. But it's, so it's, I don't know if you call it cut proof, but it's definitely cut resistant slash resistant you know it's just it's a very sturdy bag uh, well i've only had it a month but it does seem sturdy and considering every you know everything they make is known for being sturdy i asked the lady at the store what the warranty was on it she said it's a five-year warranty i said oh good it's a lifetime warranty she goes no no only five years i go yeah i'm old you think i got five years left and she kind of looked at me funny and then laughed and then looked at me really funny and then looked at my wife like, you poor woman, he has a weird sense of humor. And this is true. Um, hopefully the last bag I ever buy. Time will tell. Um, I expect it to last a long time, but it has a lot of built-in safety features. You go to their website, you can look at different bags. They have different clips like this that do different things. If you, and once that's on and you latched up, it's really a hassle. You're not gonna like, it, has, it takes two hands, it almost takes three to get this open. So a pickpocket is not gonna get in while you're distracted. They're not gonna get into this. And that's the key. I've been traveling for 30 years. Yes, 30 years. Not full time, but a lot. I've been pickpocketed once. It was on a jeepney here. I made a video kind of about it. Don't know if I explained it well. I do not take the blame, but I know what I did differently. 
generally I am more aware. I have better control of my bag. I got into a situation on the jeepney, very crowded, very hectic, and I wasn't paying attention to what I should, and they got my phone. This bag, with that level of inattentiveness, this bag would have stopped them. So I have high hopes for this. I really like this bag. As I said, PackSafe is not sponsoring this. And yes, I carry my umbrella every day. I use it for the sun more than the rain. It's hot here and rainy, sometimes at the same time. They have numerous sizes and configurations for whatever you want. A friend of mine is looking at one that like folds over like a small pouch. If you need it, it unfolds, opens up, turns into a big bag. So it's like you have it folded over and it's usable as a small bag. You open it up and it's a full-on backpack, which looks really cool. And if you need something that expands with, as you need it to, it would be good. For me, carrying all my camera gear with me everywhere I go, this is the right size. My other bags actually were larger than this, the ones I was buying locally. And if they're larger, you tend to carry more. And they were getting heavy. So this is a decent size. It's big enough for all my camera gear. Basically, this back pocket, the main pocket, is camera gear. The front pocket is my wallet and chapstick and what have you. So it's kind of like all I really used to carry would be this small section. And most people aren't going to need this large a bag on a daily basis. It would make a good day bag if you're traveling and you want to be able just to grab stuff for a field trip. If you're on a vacation, you need a day bag. This would work for that. For me, it works as a camera bag. I like it. As I said, PackSafe is not sponsoring this. They did not send me these. This is not a paid endorsement of any kind. I wish it was, but it is not. This is stuff I use this every day, this almost every trip. I use these all the time. This over 10 years I have used this. They're wonderful bags. They are what I use all the time. There are links down below affiliate links to Amazon if you wish to buy them. It costs you the same to use that link, but it throws a little change towards me. Not much, but I'll take what I can get. I found the prices on Amazon to be about the same. Actually, on this, it was a little bit cheaper on Amazon than from PackSafe. Makes no sense. But if you need it, there are links down below. I would appreciate the click through my affiliate link just because it would be nice. So that's our bags. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh, you know, like and subscribe and share and all that wonderful stuff. Now back to our regularly scheduled videos. Enjoy your day in paradise.